Holly and I have travelled up the Solway coast today in southwest Scotland because Fine and Country has invited me to this unique waterfront home. Come with me inside and we'll explore. As soon as you step into this home, through the entrance and into this reception hall, you're greeted by this magnificent hand-built bespoke oak staircase. There's also parquet effect flooring and a boot room and a WC off this reception hall. But I think that I want to start the tour in this kitchen. I'm told the views are incredible. So let's head through this sliding barn style door. This kitchen was built by Hiddleston Joiners and comprises these bespoke solid wood cabinets and the solid granite worktops as well. I think my favourite part about this kitchen, aside from the high quality craftsmanship, is this elm arch over the range cooker which mirrors the limestone arch in the dining room. And I also adore the teal colour scheme in here. All of these coloured accents are really complementing all of the natural materials in this room. There are characterful beams overhead and this sizeable kitchen island with a breakfast bar and a Belfast sink and of course integrated appliances as you would expect. Now just through here there is also an air conditioned pantry. How special is that? Coming through this impressive five meter wide limestone archway, we come to the large dining area and we're presented with this glorious waterfront view here. I imagine on a summer's day that the light comes pouring in through these floor to ceiling sliding doors, creating the perfect atmosphere to enjoy an evening meal with your friends at the dinner table before spilling out onto the terrace. Just next to the dining area, we have this cozy seating space with access out onto the terrace again, but I want to explore the outside later. First, let's head through another sliding barn door to the drawing room. This reception room is generous in size once again and we have another wood burning stove here, this time in a lovely sandstone surround. There are French doors taking us outside once again. Now, one of the fantastic features of this home are, of course, those amazing views. And I love that the property is ever so slightly elevated to give us the most perfect spot to enjoy those views of the lock from. Glazed double doors take us back to the reception hall to see the rest of the living areas downstairs. Next door to the drawing room, we have another reception room, which is very similar to the last, although it feels extra cozy with the dark walls. There's another set of French doors and a beautiful wood burner. Just opposite, there is also an office space, fantastic for those working from home, while next door is a handy utility room. I love that we find the principal bedroom suite on the ground floor of this property. And how fantastic is this huge space with the double height ceiling and the triple aspect, including this picture perfect window at the foot of the bed. Now I imagine enjoying your morning coffee from here is a perfect way to start the day, overlooking the garden and the lock beyond. And you could even take your coffee out onto the terrace to enjoy. The bedroom is semi open plan to a fabulous ensuite bathroom with a large bathtub, twin sinks and a sizeable walk-in shower with a rain head attachment. Now also in this suite there is a separate WC and an impressive dressing room with fitted solid oak cabinetry. Hermitage is approached along a quiet lane from the main road and boasts a lovely private position behind an electronic gate. There's also lots of parking and a detached garage, perfect for the BMW we've been given today from Arnold Clark. 
I've stepped outside now to enjoy one of the many terraced areas that this property has to offer. And looking back, how magnificent does it look? Although for me, the wow factor really is this view of the white lock. The garden is very large and very well tended to. There are areas of woodland, there's also a boathouse, a jetty, and at the end of the garden, a beautiful summer house. What a perfect spot this is to host your friends in the summer, enjoying time out on the water and listening to the sounds of the wildlife too. The Hermitage is located in Colvend, a small village situated at the south end of White Lock on the Solway coast. The village boasts an 18-hole parkland golf course, a pottery studio and a farm shop. As well as the opportunity to take nearby coastal paths, there's also a superb forest walk from Colvend to Dalbeatie. Conveniently located to Dumfries, Castle Douglas and Dalbeatie, Colvend is great for commuter access with excellent rail and road links within driving distance. Coming up this spiral staircase past the beautiful arched window and this statement chandelier, we come to the galleried landing with angular ceilings and exposed beams. There are four bedrooms up here, one of which is currently set up as a study, but I think that that would make the perfect nursery area. Shall we head over to the first bedroom? This first double bedroom has a fantastic wall of bespoke fitted wardrobes. There is also this charming Juliet balcony and an ensuite shower room. Shall we head across to the family bathroom now? This bathroom is a great size. We've got this deep freestanding claw foot bath. There's a walk-in shower, and I really love the tiles in here. I know I've been saying it in every room, but unsurprisingly, we've got those beautiful waterside views again. Just next door, there is another ensuite double bedroom and plenty of storage too. We've come to the final bedroom now through a short hallway with storage on either side, which I love, and even more fitted wardrobes as well. Now, this for me would be my favorite bedroom in the property. There is an ensuite, but the cherry on top is this incredible balcony. I have really enjoyed my time here at the Hermitage in southwest Scotland today. How fantastic is this property? It has space in abundance and that's before you've even stepped outside. So thank you for joining me today. I'm looking forward to reading your feedback in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the Fine and Country YouTube channel because Elizabeth has got some great tours lined up and I hope to see you soon.